against fought back many, many times. What did you see that kind of you know stalled you guys and allowed you guys to get over that hump? Yeah, you just look at that first and third uh, quarter scoring. Just uh, not able to put points uh, on the board. Uh, had some good shots along the way. Didn't make them. And so... Um, part of basketball, but I think the things that we can take care of are the turnovers uh, and the, the rebounding. Uh, and that's just a matter of keeping things simple for turnovers wise and hitting somebody and keeping them off the boards. When it comes to the three-point shooting, three of 23, was it just a matter of shots not falling? Did you like the looks that you guys were getting? Yeah, overall, we got some good looks. Uh, I think early on, uh, we got some good looks from some guys who want shooting the basketball. But you, you can't rely on that on a nightly basis. You know, uh, you're know, going to make and miss shots. We all know that's a part of our game. Um, I, I'm more determined to, to get us to play harder and be ready to play at the beginning of the game. Uh, so that piece of it, disappointing that piece, um, because we come out of the game not ready, uh, to give up a lead like we did in the first quarter. Then we get a little reprieve, 51-51 at halftime. We get a chance to do it again in the third. And, again, they were able to punch first. Still tied in that third. Uh, as good as Ben was in the absence of Kevin and Kyrie, he picks up his fourth foul, goes to the bench, and you guys immediately give up a run that you never really recovered from. I mean, how big was that stretch when he was out? How costly was that? Well, you know, we need everybody, and that's a big piece of it. So uh, we have to be disciplined and smart how we play the game. Um, and I think a big piece of that is, you know, I talked about that before the game, the rebound and the, and, and the foul, and we have to take care of it. And um, it is in multiple fashions, whether it's the rebounding piece, whether it's reaching on the guy who drives, whether it's being not positioned and then having to react. So all culprits of it. Um, and, and hopefully guys are starting to understand, like, the discipline along the way, it has to be there because you won't be able to recover from stretches like that. Um, and so, great challenge for our group. Jack, you talked about getting the three attempts from three since Kevin yeah. went out. Only 23. I think you guys in the 30s passing everything. How do you get that number to a place you're happy with without you know forcing it or going out of your guys' identity, really? Yeah, I think uh, it helps when you make some of them. So then the defense has to react a little bit, and then you can drive some of those, and then easier ones come around. So uh, would have liked some of those looks to have gone in early in the game. Maybe that puts us in a different position. Um, got Poto in foul trouble, so they went a little small, and then we're able to switch some of our stuff so you won't get as many threes off that way. Uh, but overall, we got the looks that um, we should be making. You guys obviously went through something very similar last year. What gives you the confidence that this group isn't going to have the same finish on the stretch without Kevin that last year's group? Yeah, but I, I, the three things I said to our group, the being extremely professional, being consistent, and that's with your approach, that's with your, your mindset, uh, and, and no excuses. You know, Nick, that's for me. Uh, and uh, I'm going to continue to preach that to the group. Um, not looking for any excuses. That's just who we are. We get a chance to play the game. You get a chance to compete. We had plenty enough bodies uh, to, to get the job done today. We ran through everybody. So everybody got a chance to be a part of it and, and be a part of the winning, be a part of the losing. And so uh, I'm going to continue to stretch to the group. I'm not going to give them excuses. I don't care about last year. Uh, I care about the now. Today was the most important game. Now I'm going to try to reload and be ready for Phoenix. But I'm not going to give them a chance to have excuses, Nick. Jacques. TJ really got you guys going offensively at 19 off the bench. I know you said before you don't plan to put him in the 35 40 range or anything, but 24 minutes, do you think about pushing that a little bit at all? Just get away from here? Oh, I think we ran him in, in big stretches. I, I said to the guys going to the game, we were going to change the rotations a little bit. Wasn't going to run guys as long, uh, five or six minute stints. He had a long run to, to get us you know, some points on the board. Um, I think we continue to, to give guys minutes across the board. And uh, because what happens is someone else's minutes get shaved. So you look at Yuta's minutes, he's not here, there. So uh, the next thing you know, you, you're plugging holes from, from all sides. And so we want guys just to use their minutes to play as hard as possible. I told the guys, don't play like you're playing 30 minutes. Play like you're playing 15 minutes. Give that effort. Give that discipline. And then we'll build from there. Uh, so that's the approach we have to have. With Kyrie's status uncertain, whether he plays or not, I mean, Okay, you played TJ, would you play him tonight? Would you consider extending that going forward? 
I think it's really going to be a challenge for us because now, you know, you look at last week, we had two games in seven days. Uh, and we're supposed to take care of business and have a lot of juice and effort uh, along the way. We didn't take care of business. Now you come here and you got three and four, so you got to think about that, what that looks like on the back-to-back -back with Phoenix and Utah. Supposed to take care of business here. So I'm really trying to get our guys to just concentrate on today. Don't even worry about the back-to-back. -back. We'll when we get there, we'll get there. If Phoenix presents itself and TJ can play more minutes, then we'll try to win that game with TJ. Uh, but I'll be smart about it long term. I, I don't want to put guys in a position where we don't have them for the stretch. Uh, but again, we're going to try to use everybody in, in Phoenix and, and get a win. And you talked about shortening guys' minutes, so obviously Joe wasn't playing excessive minutes, but is it all concerning? I mean, I don't think he had a shot in the first half. Uh, you're obviously short on offense. I mean, would you like to see him punt a few more shots? Well, it's interesting because then you start looking into the shot distribution. Well, Ben had more shots in the first quarter, I guess, you know, so he was more aggressive going to the rim. So those are shots that take away from Joe. Seth got a, three or four looks from three that didn't go in early, and then he had a little bit of law. So getting guys to understand is we're going to have to play this thing together. Uh, it's going to be different person on different night. Your minutes are important. Uh, Cam's minutes were important tonight. The TJ stretch was important tonight. Keith's minutes were important tonight. And so uh, if anything comes from this is being able to be counted on. Uh, and that's what we want our group to grow to. You mentioned Cam. For him to get those minutes, you mentioned about the confidence that we might see him. For him to play 30 minutes and go 6 to 12, what did you just like about him coming off the bench? Confidence, like I said before, has not even at all uh, waned. Uh, you know, I know Cam can hoop. Uh, it's just a matter of who's going to be out the floor with him. Um, what does the game present? Uh, who else do we need to play? Uh, so a lot goes into who else is out there on the floor. Um, Cam can hoop, though. We know that. Josh, do you, do you think you guys got any uh, juice, spark plug, whatever you want to call it, from Marquise's uh, screen? Well, you, you always like guys being physical. You know, Markeith is a veteran on our team. I think he was uh, showing some veteran leadership at that time, Alex. He made the two free throws, too, and got us the ball. So it ended up being a win for us, I think. That's a no call Alan Fieldhouse. <laughs> <laughs> shot profile was what you want? Well, you would like um, the, the turnover piece puts that a little skewed, so that piece of it, we, we have to clean up. We just can't give the team, you know, extra possessions. The extra possessions all also come from the rebounding. Um, you like to shoot probably 10 more threes. That would have been ideal for us, but the 20-something that we shot, we got to make more than three of them. That's what I'm saying. The three, the promo on the threes, I mean, they were clean enough looks. I think overall, without you know, just reflecting upon the game and seeing some throughout the course of the game, who was shooting those threes? Uh, you know, there's always uh, two or three where, as a coach, you say uh, maybe you could have got better. Uh, but overall, the guys who shot the basketball got some pretty, pretty clean looks. Thank you. Thank okay, you. guys.